record um, what uh, is in the box for Cataclysm. I'm not going to edit anything anymore, uh, just because it takes way too much time, which I don't have. I'd rather spend it playing my goblin. So here you can guys uh, see the uh, little sort of my favorite um, collector's edition it's for MMOs. Uh, Cataclysm seems to be like the second largest one. It just is slightly taller than the AOC box. So it's the second biggest uh, collector's edition box that I've uh, personally seen for MMO. Uh, <coughs> let's grab it here. It's kind of cool, the letters and stuff. I don't know if you can see it there. It's not just flat, they're um, beveled. I don't know what you call that. It's kind of cool. It's kind of made to look like it's an old messed up package. It's pretty neat, it's pretty clean looking and uh, you know, there's not too much garbage on it. It's pretty straight to the point. On the back you can see what's inside. One thing that um, I won't be able to show you right now is the mini Deathwing pet, but I'll record it. I'll, I'll wrap it for you guys so you can see it. Okay, let's uh, go through to, uh, you know, with uh, through all the stuff that's in the box. Here is the art book that was inside. It's really nice and thick, uh, hard cover and everything. Uh, probably the best quality um, art book from any collector's edition um, that you've seen on a table here. Maybe with the exception of uh, War. I don't remember, but uh, I think that was a uh, hard cover as well. Some very nice stuff in here. If you really like uh, this game and the Warcraft universe, then uh, or world, whatever, uh, then you will be, you know, glad you got it just because of this, pretty much. Um, well, it depends what you like. There's lots of interesting stuff in here. Um, if you haven't gotten the collectors, I would probably I recommend that you go out and get a copy. There's some really cool stuff in here. Um, next. Next, uh, let's see this. Um, there's some cards from the uh, World of Warcraft card game in here. Um, I guess a whole deck. However, um, I won't be able to play it most likely since I don't know anyone uh, who plays this game. Comes with sets of instructions, detailed ones. So it's a it's a really great idea, I think, and it's a nice way for them to push sort of products that uh, expand sort of the you know. Warhammer, or sorry, Warcraft franchise. I always get the two mixed up when I talk, I don't know why. Uh, this is the loot card that I got. Uh, I'm just covering the um, serial number since I haven't used it yet. Um, okay, so I don't know, you know what that will get, get me. Um, here's the next thing down. This is the mouse pad that's in a box. It's actually pretty good. It's nice and thick rubber back so it's good it's gonna stick uh, once where you put it you know it's it's let's compare it to this starcraft one which is a uh, store bought so it's smaller but it's not a small tiny you know unusable mouse pad that you often get as a bonus this one's pretty good this here is the soundtrack um there are the tracks I haven't listened to it yet. I actually am one of those people that listen to soundtracks from games in my car. It's often it's pretty nice, like classical kind of music. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is the game um, DVD or the expansion, if you will. Oops, up. I got the serial code. Well, I mean it's already used, so it doesn't matter. But still, okay. <coughs> And on the bottom is <coughs> my favorite thing in these um, collector editions. This is the behind the scenes DVD, which sort of shows you, you know, what was happening when they were making the stuff. Um, very often it goes through the uh, concept and, you know, such. A um, bunch of guest passes. I'm not really sure what the idea behind the World of Warcraft guest passes, since, um, you know, you you can just download the trial, but I guess this would be handy if uh, you know somebody in real life. It's a pretty nice looking sturdy card and stuff. You can sort of give it to them, it looks kind of cool. Um, StarCraft ones, if anybody wants any of these, 
If you want to try Warcraft or Starcraft 2 or anything, just give me a shout on our website and um, I'll send you the code if you want. Uh, so that pretty much covers what was in the box. Now, here is my little desktop. What I want to just mention to you guys is that we have uh, this guild on gunbud.com. Um, check us out. Uh, we're playing Warcraft on Terracar server, um, PvE US server. Um, we have a bunch of people in there. It's a pretty tiny guild in comparison, uh, about close to 50 people now, or 50 characters anyway. Most days we have about a dozen on at once. Um, so it's uh, there's always spot for new people, uh, and we recruit any class. As long as you're over 20 years old, you're welcome. Just check out the website. Uh, we have a um, ventrilo indicator here that will tell you who's online, and all the server stuff is on there too. So you can, um, you know, sign in there without having to post on forums and stuff. Um, so there you go, that's about it. Uh, I'm just not showing myself because I figured you guys would rather look at other things here. Um, Lotra, AOC, StarCraft 2, Tabula Rasa, my very favorite game, which reminds me, um, Earth Rise is coming out soon, which I see as a sort of Tabula Rasa 2.0. I'm definitely going to try that. But for now, it's all about this guy here. Okay, I'm going to go and frap some stuff for you guys now. Uh, for goblins and cataclysm and stuff and there you go awesome. okay so um, I recorded the three videos here of the collector's edition so I'm gonna start wow and we'll go in there I'll show you guys the pet the goblins uh, and some other stuff for now I'm just gonna turn this off so I can type in my info and stuff Okay, um, so I want to show you guys what I have in here. This is my rogue uh, goblin, the one I rolled uh, when Kala came out. Um, never played a rogue ever uh, since the game released. I never played a rogue. Um, I think I probably had one or two that I got to like level five and then gave up. Um, that's about it. Um, I totally love goblins, though they're freaking fantastic. Really funny, really, really fun uh, race. Starting area is fantastic. It's just first class stuff. If you like humor in your games, then you love goblins. And uh, rogues are just, I don't know, it fits me well. Um, there is my hunter, which you guys will know from the past movies. And this is the guy I had on.